this once again I just did the analysis of the DXY so now I'll take a look at a few of the AU pairs um, what do we see we always check on a daily time frame to see what type of um, situation we're in look like we're in a high bound trend came back up tested retested actually broke coming down coming back down so um, we currently are in an uptrend we're making um, higher lows as, as we can see um, but to get a closer view we're in, a, we're in an uptrend currently high low high low high low high low and right about here we see a break of structure which could be indicating a downtrend is coming um, as we see we made a high and then we broke that high made a higher high came back down made a, a, a lower high came back down lower high and so forth and so on so it looks like the momentum is um, dissipating um, but of course since uh, the method of trading that I do based on, is based off the structure as well as price action but mostly along with harmonics I see that a high has been broken here and here so I'm going to choose my impulse leg and on other charts just to say this other charts I do have my uh, quarters theory but sometimes I have so much going on in my charts that um, I like a fresh chart especially when I'm showing you guys what it is that I'm seeing in the market so this could be one impulse leg that we're looking at here um, but it also could be broken down into a smaller leg is such as here and this small leg here is what I would use to um, start measuring out with my fibs uh, if this is, is a type of harmonic so since I'm going to use this leg here we're going to go from relative low to relative high hope you can follow me price has ended on a 50% and we know that a bat is, has a 50% retracement and so does a shark and we see that since price has closed above this previous high has made a higher high um, that it's above the uh, 88.6 so I take my Fibonacci expansion tool and I go from relative low to relative high back down to its original position and see where we actually stalled out at we're looking for a sharp oh, 113 it's actually perfect it barely barely nipped it but it's still valid um, so we have the X A B C we know a shark its um, D point is an 886 so simply I just open up the original fib at the 886 see where we are we need a level of confluence so it, that would be an A B A A B a. We're looking for 1618. And wow. That is our nice PRZ zone that we would use to start looking for some type of reversal. Um, and you want to draw out the pattern here. X A B C D. Again, the 50 uh, the middle point has been broken. So structure could be changing. Um, as we're looking right now, we have rejection. It's, it appears that um, um, instead of a follow-up bullish candle, a bearish candle is forming. So we could see come Tuesday, maybe Sunday, Monday, it'll come here. Come Tuesday, we may enter into our PRE, PRZ zone. And uh, we can take this trade up. It'll probably do a continuation into its trend. Um, continuation up to, into the uptrend. Um, we can go down to the four hour chart and see what, what it looks like. And as you can see, clear rejection with a pin bar. Then we have an inverted hammer. And then the engulfing, followed by the next bearish candle. So, this is my analysis for AU. This is what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for price to come back up, give me a, a lower high. And then I'll take it down to the 86 and um, then take it back up. Um, looks like price could come. It did come to the 382. Looks like it's doing some rejection. So we'll see. If I miss this trade here, 
I'll definitely just have an opportunity to catch it down in the PRZ zone. And that is how I trade First Lady Forever Blue. Hope you like it.